most web components are distributed as ES modules, so in order to use them efficiently, you need to use some sort of build tool that's able to handle ES modules. That could be something like Webpack, Parcel, or Rollup. In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple Webpack setup that works well for development and that you can build on for production. If you are already in a project that uses Webpack or Parcel or another build tool, feel free to skip this video and go straight to the next one. We'll start off by creating a new folder and then going into it. In here, we'll first initialize npm. With npm initialized, let's install a few dependencies that we need. Namely, webpack, webpack web, uh, dev server, webpack CLI, and the HTML webpack plugin. Okay, with everything installed, let's open our editor. All right, so we have our empty folder open here. Let's create a so, uh, source folder for us, and inside of it, a stub HTML file and a stub JS file. For the HTML file, I'll use my IDE to generate a stub. Let's give it a title like Web Components. Yay. All right, and then an index.js file. The JS file will be the entry point into our application, something we'll touch on in the next video. For now, it's enough that we just have a index.js file. In the root of our project, we'll create a new file for configuring Webpack. and inside the config file define a very bare bones setup. Essentially what I'm doing here is I'm including the HTML Webpack plugin and then I'm grabbing the mode that gets passed in from the command line, configure that, then I configure the HTML Webpack plugin to use the index file that we just created as a template and I enable source uh, maps if we are in development mode. Finally, we'll go into package JSON and create scripts for running these targets. So we have two scripts here, dev, which will run the dev server in development mode, and prod, which will run Webpack itself in production mode. You should now be able to open up your terminal and run npm run dev. And if everything went well, you'll see that it compiled successfully and you can go into your web browser on port 8080 on localhost and see the content that we just wrote in our HTML file. You can also notice that if you go into your HTML file and change something, it'll recompile and reflect that change in your browser immediately. So that's a simple setup that we can use for getting started with web components or any other project that uses ES modules. So be sure to check out the next video.